Good day, everyone. Good day. I'm David Guerra, and this is Efficiency in the Workplace. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Today is Wednesday, April 4, 2018, and I want to talk today about creating a schedule and sticking to it. Create a schedule and stick to it. Everybody has it. Everybody has a schedule, whether it's written down or it's in here. As a leader, you have to have a schedule. It's a must. That way people kind of know what you're doing, when you're doing it, when they can approach you, when you're approachable, which should be about 100% of the time. Okay, 99.9% .9 of the time, but that 0.1% of the time, there's some mandatory stuff you have to be doing, and that's why a schedule is essential, because then they know what you're doing at that time. And it's critical to the job function, it's critical to your duties, to your responsibilities, and usually it's critical to what they want and what they need to get done because you, your job as a leader is to support them, is to be there for them. So if you've got crunch time and it's, it's, got, it's got to get done, guess what? They'll understand because you can do it and they understand because you're doing it. That being said, be flexible. Be flexible. Now, there's going to be some times that your Monday morning briefings will have to wait until Tuesday morning. I get it. You get it too. Be flexible. Let them know that sometimes, yes, you can be interrupted if it's absolutely positively necessary. So, again, communicate with them, share with them, but most of all, create a schedule that they can understand, they can follow, they can respect, because they're respecting you and they're respecting the mission and the job you're doing for them. And you do all of that by communicating. So, get a schedule, write it down, share it with everyone, communicate with everyone, and the rest will take care of itself. Folks, my name is David Gary. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you tomorrow.